it looks like a bad problem. It looks like a tractor off problem. I think we're going combining in the wheat today. First job, make sure I have some diesel. <clears throat> this tractor is pretty good, it doesn't use it too much. Well, it might, but I have such a big tank, I don't really notice the fuel use, so I don't really have to fill it up too often. But I know I'm going away from the farm today, so being full and prepared is the best way. So my aircon is not working very well, so I've removed this from the side is so much better because the in the little tractors they're under the bonnet as in for me it's just up my my passenger my uh, driver's side steps so if i blow this out i'll have better air con now out and I found a little stand for it. Okay so my box and my filter is now all back on and hopefully the tractor can now perform a little bit better because it was quite dusty. Sam's getting the chaser ready because it's got another big day today. Billy's fixing the bale I think a belt or something has come off. So that's being sorted. Lucy's taking the rake off so we can go combining. Um, so it's just general maintenance normally in the morning. <laughs> Pen's busy. <laughs> A bit stuck. So I managed to get that tire off, Ben and I. Uh, Lucy's greasing this trailer. She's doing a very, very good job getting all the grease points. It's quite good this trailer because it shows you where the grease points are but it was a little bit squeaky and needed doing anyway okay so what we're going to do is i'm going to take this trailer i'm going to take a detour off and drop it off in the field then carry on to where the header is pick that up and move down but i reckon it's going to take me probably two hours to um do that so I'm going to grab my lunch in from the fridge and then off I go and we're combining some wheat. Well, we're going to try it anyway. And we're off. I've got my John Deere lunch bag. I tell you what, it fits everything in. It keeps it cold and it just goes with the tractors and everything. But I definitely recommend uh, the John Deere lunch box. I made it to the field. The trailer's going to be parked. The stack's just there. Um... <coughs> But am I going to make it to where I need to be? It's now quarter to 11 and I need to be where the combine is at half past. And it's saying a 30 minute journey in a car on maps. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I need to get on, obviously safely, but um, so I'm just eating my breakfast. <laughs> but yeah, put your guesses in. Will I make it? So we are going to try the first bit of wheat. We are getting on, which is really exciting. I've also got a funny story. Well, it's not a funny story, actually. It's a really disappointing story to tell you later. Um, sorry. Yeah, you're good, Dan. Just left a little bit. Uh, we're just watching the combine go through, um, oh, through the bridge. So tight. So, here's the field. Dan's gonna drive straight into it, reverse up so I can put the header straight on. So I think this field's called pylon fields because there's so many pylons in the field. Right, so Dan's turned in, he's gone up the tram line. He's then gonna reverse up the tram line which means I can drive straight with my header trailer. So now you can see me and my header trailer.
I'm on the wrong channel. Keep going, keep going. Pull the pin on there, loose. No, I do well enough. Whoa, whoa. Oh, Pull the pin this side. That. I've now got to reverse this out of the gateway. Do you find somewhere to turn around? Yeah, you can go right up to the triangle, at least, and you'll be able to turn around just fine. Up to the well side? Yeah, when you'll come to a triangle, you turn around there, you'll see it when you get there. Look at the combine. He's now cutting me a path so I can go and... Oh. Dan, you know you're chopping? Are we meant to be chopping? This might seem really weird, but the favourite thing about this farm is that it has a toilet. Do you know what? It's like a game changer. It makes you feel so much better because you don't have to go for a wild wee every five minutes. And it's something that Abby Kay is championing at the minute. If you look on her Farmers Weekly articles about um, how there should be facilities, you know, I think she's more aiming at the women's side of things, but. Oh, it's just, it's nice that you can just wash your hands, you know, go for a quick toilet and then head on back out to the field. It's, it's a game changer. I have to say what Abby K is saying is spot on. I, it's, I've not really had it that often because most of the fields we're in are far away. You're not near any facilities at all. There's just a random grain barn that you're tipping in in the middle of nowhere. And you do have to go for a wild wee, unfortunately. Um, but having that is so much nicer. I notice when I'm working really late and long hours, I get covered in like spots around this area and it's because my hands are dirty. Obviously I try and wash them, I've got baby wipes, but there's only so much baby wipes can do um, to a certain extent. So having that facility is, is great. I'm totally lost. This field is so massive. I can't even see where the dust is coming from. I have no idea where the combine is. I don't think it's gone all the way around. Oh, there it is. I see, I see it. Uh-oh, it looks like it's stopped though. Better go and check. It looks like a bad problem. It looks like a tractor off problem. Let's get and have a look. On the other hand though, the wheat is looking amazing. Look at this. Look at the heads on this wheat grain. Oh dear, doesn't look too good. Oh no, this is not good. Basically the belt has snapped and jammed the chopper so we can't chop the straw. We need a new belt, we can't do anything. So what we're having to do is I've reversed the combine almost, you can see, into the bushes. Um, and we're gonna have to unload the grain because we, got, we can't do anything else. Um, it, it's, it's broken at the minute. Hopefully Lucy can get, oh too sure where she's going uh, hopefully we can get it in the trailer uh, that can go and then we can sort the combine out so we're unloading at the moment okay we're fixing we have a high speed and a low speed now it's in the high speed chopper it will be fine on my way back to my field now my field my tractor I mean I know you can't really see it in the dust but he's flashing the grain is coming out of his roof, out of his grain tanks, technical word. Um, so this means he's full. We've got to go all the way around there to get back. I don't think he's gonna make it. So somehow he's gonna have to reverse up, cut into the wheat so I can drive in, unload, um, and we'll have to unload on the stop because otherwise I'll just run over the wheat and you can't do that. Here it goes, he's telling me that He's ready, the arm's out. But where's he gonna go? He's gonna go up in this grass here. And in it goes in 
on to my trailer. We have our first load of wheat in the grain trailer. Woo! -hoo! We are cutting what you would call a land out. So it's the first run basically in the field when you just cut through it so you can start going up and down and the trailer can get you. <coughs> he's trying to signal to me because he's on the phone and I'm not sure what he's saying. So I think, and I think he's saying, you need to follow me because I won't get all the way down the field. So I followed him because I was just going to go to the end and wait because I thought he might make it. But by the sound of things, I don't think he will. Look at all that dust coming off. 